Hey, what's going on everybody? How's everyone doing out there today? Welcome back to Wildcat MTG, and uh, today we have ourselves a Brothers War Collector Booster Box Battle. So, for those who are not familiar, we have four participants. Each one of these participants is going to get three packs. We're going to open the contents of those packs. And at the end of this thing, the person with the total highest mana value amongst rares and mythics is going to get one additional prize pack from All Will Be Phyrexia All Be One. And the person with the lowest combined mana value from all rares and mythics is going to get the other pack. Uh, in the event of a tie, we take the first tiebreaker is the person with the highest mana value mythic. And then as a second tiebreaker, the uh, highest mana value rare. Um, and if then if we still have a tie at that point, we're going to have some sort of like jousting contest or something. I don't know. So uh, with that being said, why don't we go ahead and dive on in and let's let's crack some packs. So let's set these off to the side here. Uh, first and foremost, as I open this thing up, I want to thank each and one of my patrons here for participating. That's Joseph, Jeff, Newcomer Poe, Welcome Poe, and uh, Gremlin. Hopefully we get some spice here today. That's always the objective, right? And uh, some good stuff. Brothers War has obviously a ton of sweet artifacts and some other really good mythics within this set as well. So, why don't we give this thing a good shuffle here. We'll do a couple of shuffles. Yep, there we go. Not so great. Come on. So I guess my first video. Here we go. Do another shuffle. Um, I have yet to pull a serialized card from this. So, you know, that's on the table. Love to do that. Love to do that for somebody. Uh, we, e we know that each one of these packs is going to have a transformer. And while I if I were like doing a video opening for myself i would not necessarily count them as a myth because we know that <laughs> it's not exactly mythical if you're getting one in each pack but for the purposes of the battles we do count the transformer mythics in there all right i think that's a pretty good shuffle here so we got joseph for three we got jeff for three poe and gremlin uh we're gonna do these in rounds of three so we'll do one pack per person good luck everybody Hopefully we get some fire in here. All right. I was looking for a pull tab. I don't think this is a product that has a pull tab. Okay. Away we go. So we've seen a bunch of these yet. I'm going to skip past the uh, commons and uncommons here. We'll kind of fly through those. Okay. Here we go. We got our land. So first rare or mythic is going to be a rare. It is a Razor Lash Transmogrant. That is a two. Giraffna, founder of Latinam. That is also another two. After that, we have a Terribilis, which is a big old seven. Yeah, there are some beefy mana values in this uh, in this product. So we got ourselves a Terribilis, so that's a seven. After that, we got ourselves a nice little pristine Talisman. Burnished Heart in that uh, schematic. Ashnod's Altar, which is not a bad pull at all. And that is a rare, so that is a three. Ooh, we have a first mid. Oh, that's right. This transformer. Man, it's like the first time shooting one of these videos. <laughs> uh, Blaster Combat DJ. That's a five. And then we finish with a scrap trawler in that retro frame foil. So I'm put our token there. So let's go ahead and add these up real quick. So we've got ourselves a three. That's uh, that's an eight. Eleven. Uh, Eleven plus seven. That is eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. So twenty-two for Joseph out of the gate. I think I kind of like the Ashnods all through up top there. There we go. Okay. Not a bad pack one. All right, Jeff, you are up. The, uh, because of the amount of artifacts in here, in, these, in this product, the mythics from the actual base set are actually fairly mythical. All right. Can't get this pack. Up. There we go. Which makes them kind of a... Uh, I think that's why one reason they've, they've retained value pretty well. All right. Goring Plowsher, Tactician. Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. So we're going to start off with a... Oh, it's a Mythic. What is that? Whoa! Beautiful. Pack Foil Portal 2 Phyrexia. That is a nice hit, and it is a huge mana value. That is a 9. Very nice pull right there. All right. So we start off with a 9. Our next rep is Transmogrant's Crown. That is a 2. Rare after that is a Sandwell Avenger Ace. All right, that is another two. So huge, and then small, and then small. Burnished Heart in the uh, retro frame, sure. Bone Saw after that. Quicksilver Amulet, that is a four. Mythic is, uh, that is our Transformer, that is Slicer. Actually, I think Slicer is pretty good. That's a five. 
We finish this with a Tyrant of Courage's, which is an extended art foil rare. That is Tyrant of Courage's. That is a six. This is going to be end up being a pretty high mana value pack to start. I mean, I think that's kind of the theme with uh, Brothers War. There's not a lot of small ones. So there's six plus five. That's 11. That's 15. 16, 17. 18, 19 plus nine. So what is that? A 28? I'll sleeve up all these. Unless we get something really insane, I'll go ahead and sleeve up everything afterwards. What did I say? A 28? 28 for Jeff. Let me just double check that real quick. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, plus 5. That's 22, plus uh, 6. Yep, that's 28. All right. Very good. Poe, you are up next. Nice portal, though. Those are, uh, again, uh, if the, the Mythics, because the amount of slots in the pack that the, uh, the uh, artifacts take up, the Mythics are fairly mythical. And that's a really good one to get. Okay, here we go. So we start off with the Swamp. Swamp. First rare is going to be Autonomous Assembler. That is a five. Mythic is a Sarnath Great Worm. That is an extended art Mythic Sarnath Great Worm. Not like a huge value, but it's actually still a really cool Mythic. Uh, there was a lot of speculation when this set first came out. This card would be uh, really well played. So that is also a six. Pretty beefy on the on the amount of value. Next rare up is the Archman, right? That is a five. Pristine Talisman in the uh, foil schematic. Next up is Springleaf Drum. Good old Springleaf. Key to the city in the schematic. That is a two. Transformer is Ultra Magnus Tactician. That is a big old seven. And then we conclude with a Sardine Avenger Extended Art Foil Sardine Avenger. Actually, a really good commander card. Uh, and that is also a two. So let's go ahead and add this up here real quick. Feels like they've either, either been huge mana values or like tiny. So we have a two plus seven. That's a nine. That's an 11. Uh, 11 plus 5, that is uh, 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. Plus 5, that is a 27. All right, 27 for Poe. And uh, yeah, we'll put, the, we'll put the Mythic on top. All right, Gremlin, you are up next. Let's see some. Let's see some gas. Let's get past all the commons and uncommons. Oop. All right, we've got our first out. There's a gypsy danger. <laughs> Very cool. It so reminds me of of uh, of that. All right, first foil rare is going to be a fateful handoff. That is a four. Visions of Phyrexia. That is another four. Rare after that is a wreck hunter as the commander card. Interesting. That's a two. Hey, Jalem Tome. Uh, it's a schematic foil Jalem Tome. Kind of cool. Mishra's Bobble. Man, Bobbles used to be so expensive. That's a schematic Bobble. Chromatic Lantern. Neat. I still think that this is a fun card. Uh, it's kind of gotten some, some, some hate recently. I don't know, just kind of being downplayed. I still think it's a really good commander card. That's a three. Soundwave. Pretty good, uh, pretty good transformer there. That's a four. And, ooh, we have a foil mythic in the back here. What is this? Blade Coil Serpent, Extended Art Foil Mythic Blade Coil Serpent. I actually really like this one. It doesn't see like a ton of play, but I still think it's actually really, really cool. So that's a nice Extended Art Foil Mythic right there, and also not a small mana value. So that is a 6, plus 4, that's 10, 13, 15, uh, 19, plus 4, that is a 23. Okay, I'm going to throw that uh, Blade Quill up top. Cool. All right, so after round one, we have Joseph in the low at a 22, Jeff in the high at a 28, Poe right behind him at a 27, and Gremlin with a 23. So we kind of, it's still very, very close. Uh, nobody running away with this thing. Let's get into round two. All right, skip, 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 skip. All right. Got our foil planes, sure. First rare is going to be a hey Mightstone and Weakstone. Actually, pretty neat. That's a that's a pretty good rare to get, actually. And that is a five. Gix's command, which is another five, is extended art. Rare after that is a geology enthusiast, which is another five. <laughs> so triple five so far on those mana values. Ornithopter after that. Pristine talisman, yet again in the schematic. 
And hey, nice. Thorn of the Amethyst. That's a pretty good uh that's a pretty good artifact. Not bad. That's a two. Our Transformer is Blitzwing, Cruel Tormentor, which is a six. And we conclude with a Simeon Simulacrum Extended Art Foil, which is a three behind that. Let's see how we ended up doing here. We know we got a bunch of fives up top. So there's three uh, plus six, that's nine. 10, 11. 11 plus uh, five, that's uh, 16, 21, and 26. Still like the Ash Nods all through. I'm going to keep that on top. So that's a 26 for Joseph. Giving Joseph a 48 after the two rounds. All right. Next up, Jeff. All right, here we go. Let's see if Jeff can add to his Portal 2 Phyrexia. A beautiful foil, pack foil, Portal 2 Phyrexia. All right, forest time, sure. Rare is a Kayla's Reconstruction, so we don't count the X for anything, but it is still a three, so that is that is a three. Next rare is a Battlefield Forge. I forgot, almost forgot that we had pain lands in this. So uh, this counts for a zero, but it is actually kind of a cool, uh, kind of a cool pain land. They don't, they're they are not as prevalent as they were the pain lands as they were in Dominaria uh, United. Another Sardian Avenger that is a two. Sigil of Valor, uh huh. Icar Wellspring as a as another as a schematic. Maze Mind Tome, that is a two after that. Nice little artifact right there, good old tome. Our Transformer is Ratchet Field Medic, that is a three. This is a very low pack. We conclude with a Hajar, the Loyal Bodyguard, which is a extended art foil, which is a two. This mana value pack was tiny. As far as this set is concerned, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, still nine, plus three, that is 12. That is a tiny, tiny pack. I think Jeff went from chasing the high to uh, trying to hold down the low, right? So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that is a 12. Holy moly. All right. Jeff brings bringing Jeff to a 40 overall. All right, Poe, you are up next. Portal 2 Phyrexia is definitely the best mythic we've seen so far, but I still think we're due for probably at least one or two on the artifact side. We haven't really seen anything come out of that, uh, out of those slots yet. All right, here we go. First pack foil rare is Soul Partition. Kind of a cool rare. That's a two. Rare after that is Lorne of the Third Path. That's actually a really good rare. Uh, sees a, quite a bit of play, um, so that actually probably has a little bit of value to it as well. And that is a three. All right, Terrasari's Devastation. That is a four. All right, Burnished Heart as a schematic foil. Bone saw it again. Chromatic Lantern in the schematic this time. Pretty cool. That is a three. Our uh, Transformer is Optimus Prime. Good old Prime. That is a six as well. I like Optimus. That's actually a pretty cool Transformer. And we conclude with a Rune Chanter's Pike. So that's actually going to be a pretty, I think a fairly small pack as well as far as mana value. So that is a two for that Rune Chanter. So it's two. That's plus six. That's eight. It's 11. 11 plus 4 is 15. Uh, 15 plus 3, 18, 19, and 20. Giving Poe a total of 47. I think, think with the Lauren kind of goes up there, t up top. All right, Gremlin, you're up next. Got the extended art foil blade coil serpent the first round. All right, here we go. Reconstructed, sure. All right, we've got our swamp. First pack foil rare or mythic is going to be, it is a mythic, and it is a Awaken the Woods. That is a really, really nice pull. Yeah, absolutely. That still holds some value for sure. That is a two. Really like that card a lot. Sweet, sweet pull. That is, a, oh, double mythic? Yeah, oh my gosh, it is a extended art portal to Phyrexia. Gremlin making out like a bandit here with the two really strong mythics. That's Awake in the Woods and a Portal to Phyrexia, and that's a big old nine as well. Triple Mythic to start. I know this one is uh, I knew this one was Commander, but that's still pretty impressive. Triple Mythic. This is Mishra, the Eminent One, and that is a five. Uh, that's the uh, front-facing Commander, I believe. Extended Art Mishra. 
Triple Mythic to start. Holy moly. Now we go Soul Guide Lantern into Sigil of Valor. Into Unwinding Clock. Nice. Sch schematic Unwinding Clock. Uh, a card that is still super down on value, but I think is a really strong hold uh, as far as holding on to. That is a four as well. Now we hit our Transformer card, which is going to be Cyclonus the Saboteur, which is a four. And we're going to conclude with a rare Takasi is Welcome. Extended Art Foil Rare Takasi is Welcome, a card that is actually seeing a little bit of play as well. Uh, I think it's probably primarily Commander, but I know I have it in a couple Commander decks, and it actually does a fair amount of work for me. So that's not a bad hit. This is actually ends up being a pretty uh, pretty substantially good pack. Uh, all right, so let's talk about the, the mana values. we got a 3. That's a 7. Uh, that's 11. 11 plus 5. Um, that is 16. Plus 9. That is a 25. 26, 27. Giving Gremlin an even 50. Now I don't even know what to throw up on top. Like It's between the portal and the Awake in the Woods. I'm going to go with the Awake in the Woods. All right, so after two rounds, we have Joseph at 48, Jeff in the low with a 40, Poe at a 47, and currently in high, Gremlin with a 50 and a, a fairly ridiculous pack overall. <laughs> All right, Joseph, here we go. Final round. There we go. Ooh, I saw a Swift Spear. That's cool. It's a neat pull. Okay, here we go. First rare mythic is a rare, and it is a temporal anchor. The temporal anchor, that is a six. Pretty high mana value. Rare behind that is a nice. Another Takasi is welcome. That's the sort of duplication we're actually okay with. Again, I think this is uh, has a little bit of value to it. That is a three. Rare after that is uh, Machine God's Effigy. Actually, a pretty good commander card and might be uh, worth a, a little bit as well. Not bad. And then we start hitting our hey, Swift Foot Boots. We hit our, our artifacts. Nice. Foil Schematic Swift Foot Boots. Chromatic Star. Mm hmm. There we go. Altar of Dementia. Very nice. I was like, man, we got to be due for a mythic on those artifact slot because we have been whiffing so far. That's actually a pretty sweet, uh, a pretty sweet, sweet pull. So that is a mythic Altar of Dementia. That is a two as well. Now we hit our Transformer card, Prowl as a four, and we're going to conclude with a Lodestone Golem. So Retro Frame Foil Lodestone Golem. That is a four. Let's take a look and see what we got going on here. All right, so we have a four. That's eight. 9, 10, 14, 17, and 17 plus 6 is a 23. All right, that brings Joseph to a total of 71. 71 in total. I like that Takasi is welcome, but I really like the altar. In fact, we're going to go double altar. We'll go altar of dementia. All right, Jeff, you are up next. So Joseph now has the high with a 71. Jeff is currently chasing with Jeff is hold, trying to hold down the low. <laughs> currently uh, 31 behind Joseph, which is actually still somehow not impossible. All right, here we go. We got a planes. Pack foil rare is a Harbin Vanguard Aviator. That's exactly how you want to start out if you're trying to maintain that low. Rare after that is an Urza's Command, a four. You're going to hit that commander card, and it's going to be a Blast Furnace Hellcat. That is a big old nine. This is a sweet card, but that's not the man about who you're looking for at this moment. After that, we hit our artifacts. Ooh, nice. Foil schematic bobble. Again, that's kind of a hang on to, right? I mean, bobbles see a ton of play. We know that there's a bunch in circulation now, but I would still be, uh, I would still probably hang on to that. Ornithopter, cool. Artifact after that is a Cage Sun. We got another mythic. We finally hit another mythic. We have a schematic, in fact, uh, not foils, foil, a uh, schematic Cage Sun, which is a six after that. Now we hit our transform. Hey, there we go. We were finally due for one. Jetfire. There's a shattered glass jetfire. That's actually really sweet looking as well. So that is a five. And we conclude with a, oh, whoa, hey. That's a, what is that? Showcase Mishra Tamara of Makfawa. It's the rare Mishra. Uh, actually, still pretty cool looking at that. And that is a five. So let's see where this ends up. You were at the low to begin with. So that is a five plus five. That's 10. That's 16. Oh, boy. 16 plus nine. Uh, <laughs> 16 plus 9, is that 25? Yeah, 25 plus 4, that's 29, and uh, plus 2, that is a 31. I mean, just one more time. I'm sorry, so 5, 10, 16, 
16 plus 9, 25, 29, 31. I said it wasn't impossible. I didn't think it was actually going to happen. So uh, 31 currently brings Jeff now tied with Joseph at a 71. Wow. Okay. Poe. We went from, Jeff went from securely in the low to uh, tied for the high. Speaks to the mana values in this pack. All right, Poe is at a 47 coming into this. Here we go. <clears throat> Ooh, Haywire Mite. Nice. That's actually a really good foil in common. All right, we got our island. <clears throat> Excuse me. First rare mythic is a Diabolic Intent. Not bad. That's a two, but actually a really sweet rare. So pack foil, Diabolic Intent. Nice pull. Rare after that is a Titania's Command. That is a big old six. After that, we got to Kayla's Music Box. That is a two. Now we're going to start hitting our artifacts here. We've got Chromatic Star, sure. Elsewhere Flask, uh-huh. Next, Rare or Mythic is a Quietus Spike, which is a three, Schematic Spike. Now we're going to hit that Transformer. It's going to be Blaster, Combat DJ. And we conclude with a Journeyer's Kite, Schematic Foil Journeyer's Kite. Okay. So we've got a two. Two, uh, that's a seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 12 plus 6 is 18. We're at a 20 there. Giving Poe a 67 and currently keeping him in the low. Poe in the low. All right, Gremlin. Gremlin was at a 50, so Gremlin needs a 21 to tie, a 22 to take the lead, or below a 17 to take the low. This is, uh, is going to get real interesting here. This is going to get real, real interesting. Here we go. All right, four, sure. Pack full of rare is a Steel Seraph. So I think we're pushing for the high with that six. Steel Seraph with a six. Legion to Ashes is a three. Commander is a Wild Surgeons. That is a six. Self Assembler as the uh, schematic foil. Pretty cool. Jalem Tome after that. Uh huh. Rare Mythic Artifact is a Mesmeric Orb. Actually, a Schematic Mesmeric Orb. That's really, really nice. That is a 2. Yep, this is interesting. Here we go. Starscream Power Hungry. That is a 4. How do we how do we wrap this thing up here? Aether Flux Reservoir. Nice. Retro Frame Aether Flux Reservoir. That is a nice pull. Sweet, sweet Mythic. And that is a 4. Um, Gremlin, I think, kind of crushed this battle. I'm not going to lie. So here we go. We got a 4, 8, 9, 10. 16, 19, 25. There it is. Giving Gremlin a total of 75 and putting Gremlin in the high to go with his super beefy Awake in the Woods portal to Phyrexia. Now we've got a Mesmeric Orb and a Foil Aetherflex Reservoir to go with that and uh, taking the high with him. Uh, so just to recap here real quick. With Joseph with a 71, Jeff with a 71, Poe in the low with a 67, and Gremlin in the high with a 75. All right. Now we got some prize packs to open here. I think these are your pull tab. They are. Yay. Okay, here we go. Poe with the low. Starting off with a... Ooh, starting off with a myth right off the bat. Whoa! Concept Praetor Urbrask. Heretic Praetor. Really, really nice pull out of that slot there. Huge. That's cool. That is really, really cool. All the concept traders look really good. Congrats, Poe. That is a really nice pull right there. And a Geth Thrain of Contracts after that. Uh-huh. Got a Stepping Complete Uncommon. It is a Furnace Punisher. Bone Picker sur Scourge. Another Bone Picker Scourge. Rare is a Geth Summon after that in that commander slot. And kind of wrapping it up with a Mirin Safe House as the extent. Oh, that's right. There's a Pack Foil as well. Monument to Perfection. And then we had our Land and our Foil Uncommons and Commons. But uh, yeah, Heretic Praetor is a... Uh, that's definitely a really, really sweet pull. Nice. Congrats on that again. All right, Gremlin. See how we can add to your, your massive near handler -glur territory winnings stealing all the beef all right there we go i did a poor job with that pull tab all right here we go phyrexian might sure malaria the living cure neat and that uh i think that's the manga yep really cool nice foil rare after that is a razor bridge thicket borderless razor bridge thicket kind of cool 
Common, Stepping Complete, Sawblade Scamp. Quicksilver Fisher, Sinew Dancer. Might Overseer as an extended art. Urabrask's Forge after that, an extended art. Slow Bad Iron Goblin as the Pack Foil Rare before we hit our Phyrexian uh, Foil Mountain. Gleeful Demolition, actually, pretty good uncommon. So, I'm going to be honest, the prize pack wasn't was not all that and a bag of potato chips, as the kids say. Nobody says that anymore. Uh, but, you know what? All things considered, with your Aether, Aetherflex Reservoir, your Mesmeric Orb, your Awaken the Woods, and Portal to Phyrexia, uh, I think you're probably feeling okay about things. So, that wraps it up for this battle. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed already, hit the subscribe button for me. Hit the like button for me. By all means, drop me some comments. And if this seems like fun to you and you want to get in on some battles or some breaks, uh, or you simply want to show additional support for the channel, I hope you will consider checking out my Patreon page. I will post the link in the description. That is it for me today. Uh, be well, everybody.